1529 forecast. Not much sunshine over the last couple of days, and that will continue today. Hello, I'm Storm Team 29 meteorologist Josh Fitzpatrick. We had one tiny break of sun just in time for sunrise yesterday morning, thanks to Barry Slayton in Emerald County in the Hollymead area, showing us that nice sunrise yesterday morning over the southwest mountain range of northeastern Emerald County. And this morning, here's a peek outside live into downtown Charlottesville as we look towards the southwest mountain range towards Pantops, part of that range. We're seeing some hilltop mountain top fog, mostly cloudy to overcast skies, a couple of brighter spots in the clouds, but we are dealing with areas of mist drizzle. It is mild and humid outside. Temperatures right now are in the 60s. That's warmer than average for overnight lows, but the thing today we're going to have more clouds and northeast wind flow and daytime highs will struggle to reach 70 by mid afternoon. Now we've had off and on rainfall all week long. Most of the rain fell on Wednesday. Doppler estimation of rainfall shows us we had a, a high Highly variable amount of rain, anywhere from a tenth of an inch to more than three inches of rain, especially over areas near Crozet, the Blue Ridge Mountains, into Nelson County, to Western Abermarl, into Madison County, too. Uh, but today we'll add to a little bit of those rain totals, but not by much at all. Barely enough to dampen the ground currently on NBC 29's live Doppler radar scope. Some sprinkles and light showers, Southern Abermarl heading more towards Crozet, I 64 corridor, Lovingston, Schuyler, Scottsville, down into Buckingham County, Dillwyn, Palmyra, Fork Union, Lake Monticello. These are very light showers, drizzle and sprinkles shifting their, their way from southeast to the northwest. We're seeing mostly dry roadways for now across I-64, I-81. There's I-81 at exit 225 in Stanton. We've had some damp conditions overnight. We are dealing with areas of dense fog though along Afton Mountain across I-64. So that's the that's the main visibility issue right now is over the higher elevations. But the most widespread rain will stay well to our south through the uh, Tar Heel State of North Carolina, Raleigh, Durham, the Outer Banks. So the heaviest, most widespread rain will bypass us to the southeast over the next couple of days and nights. Our rapid refresh high res forecast model shows lots of clouds a day, a little bit of rainfall, not a soaking rain though. As we go towards tomorrow morning, a little bit of a, a cloudy sky once again, some hilltop fog, a leftover shower, but not a washout for your Sunday. The best chance for a shower tomorrow will be across eastern counties, mainly near and east around 15, but you can see it's nothing widespread. Barely a tenth of an inch of rain as we go to the next few days. We may have to wait until a week from now to see our next cold front with showers and thunder showers. So it's a warmer than average weather pattern. Highs reach the 80s next week as the storm track stays well to our northwest. Stormy weather from Texas, Oklahoma into the Great Lakes region over the next few days. So here at home today, overcast, a shower, drizzle, hilltop fog, barely 70. If we don't reach 70 at Charlottesville, that will it'll be the coolest day we've had since late May. For the overnight, back in the upper 50s, low 60s, some leftover showers, fog, mist, and drizzle. Tomorrow, back in the 70s, maybe a break of sun later in the day, but more clouds than sun, a stray shower chance, not a washout for your Sunday. Here's your seven-day forecast. Back in the 60s tomorrow night, mostly cloudy on Monday, a few breaks of sun in the mid to upper 70s and dry. Sun comes back out Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday with highs nearly 15 degrees above average in the low and mid 80s. Isabel, you know that rain this weekend really could be impacting an expo they're having out in Nelson County. Oh, I know right now we're seeing some light showers, so keep the poncho near and don't wear your best pair of shoes. Yes, it seems like some of them might be staying in that car, but you know, it could make the driving conditions out there muddy, but it seems like people going out yeah. there are adventurers. So yeah, and some hilltop fog to reduce the visibility. So keep that in mind traveling this morning. Definitely.